What's going on guys? Indy here with Ultimate 2 Reviews. And this is kind of so much as a review as it is kind of a little bit of a rant about a lot of power tool companies, like for example, Milwaukee over here. Um, you know, they make their own lighting solutions and I love the Milwaukee lighting solutions. I'm a Makita guy, as you can see, I've got a Makita battery adapter on here with a Makita battery powering this Milwaukee. Now, you know, a lot of these, a lot of these uh, solutions here are very expensive is kind of the big issue. You know, it doesn't matter if you buy from DeWalt, Makita, Milwaukee, Metabo HPT, all the lighting solutions are expensive, but all they really are, you know, are some LEDs inside of a, you know, uh, basically an assembly here with a battery pack adapter on it. That's basically all these things are. And, you know, they've been making LED flashlights for 25 plus years now. So why are these things still so expensive? Well, if you've ever seen the Amazon, eBay, there's a lot of these brands here. And uh, I think it's pronounced um, a Comir. I think it's pronounced a Comir. Uh, they sent me over <clears throat> one of these battery um, powered flashlights and they're kind of more like a floodlight, work light kind of style. This one just so happens to work with DeWalt style batteries. But of course you can also use, you know, with a battery adapter, you can use pretty much any other size battery you want. I can also use Makita batteries at this one as well too, which is pretty cool. Now for $30, of course, this under cuts anything really by DeWalt, Milwaukee, or Makita by at least half. And this thing puts out a crazy amount of light too, which is really cool. Um, I just tested with this DeWalt battery here. I think this is like one of the 1.3 amp hour batteries. I only really get about 30 minutes or less runtime with this battery. Now this actually has two modes on it, which is pretty cool. A lot of these, you know, other flashlights in Milwaukee, this has modes on it, but it's not like a, you know, a dimmer mode. It's mostly just gonna be flood or spotlight. That's all you've really got on this. This one actually has two modes. It's kind of got a flood and a spotlight. This thing is super bright. You definitely do not wanna look directly into this thing. So that's gonna be mode one, and then mode two is all on. I did do some testing outside with this, and this thing really puts out a ton of light. Uh, my only complaint with it is, is that spotlight mode, if that actually is a spotlight mode, is not as you know far throwing as the Milwaukee. The Milwaukee definitely throws a lot farther than that. But for the price though, and that's what I've always been wondering, is is these you know little 30, I was even some of them are even 20 bucks on Amazon, 20, 30, 40 dollars on Amazon, are these little things worth it? Because it's not like a power tool, you know, it's not an impact wrench, it's not a drill. They're just, you know, basically a light array running off an 18 volt battery. It doesn't matter if you're running DeWalt, Milwaukee, or Makita, they're all running on the same voltage for the most part. And they've all got pretty much the exact same design, basically running, you know, just a quick little cable here. They're claiming it's an aluminum alloy heat sink with gonna be about uh, 6,000 lumen output. I don't know if it's exactly 6,000 lumens, but it is super bright. You do not wanna look into this at all. And I think the construction is actually pretty decent for the price point here. $30, you get some USB outputs. One of the coolest features that I noticed on here is that it also has basically a it senses when the battery is starting to drop voltage and just turns the light off, which is really cool. It doesn't actually start dimming the lights or anything. It senses that voltage drop and then it just turns off like that. So very cool there. It's actually got somewhat of some smart electronics in there. It's not just gonna, you know, drain the battery all the way out and kill your batteries like some, you know, knockoff tools that I've seen have done that in the past. Uh, but this thing actually works pretty well. With larger batteries, you're gonna get a bit better runtime, but this thing just puts out so much light, it's gonna be one of those things where it's gonna burn batteries pretty quick. But if you're trying to light up a larger workspace and you were to go out and buy like Milwaukee Rover lights, like I bought one, it was like 80 bucks, they work phenomenal. Um, I will say, looking at the testing, the Rover lights do put out more uh, light left and right, kind of more of a, um, uh, basically throw on the sides there. Whereas this thing puts out more light just going forward. And also all the lights I've noticed are gonna be on that you know, kind of the more of the, uh, the warmer Kelvin spectrum there. Whereas this thing is a very, very cool, pretty much fully white light there as it's putting out. Now I will say it was really cool to test this out. I was really wondering the quality of these lights. You know, you see them on Amazon all the time. And I'm not one for, you know, buying knockoff stuff ever. And I, I shouldn't really call this knockoff, you know, it's just gonna be its own style. There's, Dolt doesn't make anything like this at all. This is just, you know, fitting a, basically an LED array to a DeWalt battery is all it's really doing. And yeah, these things are actually pretty well worth it. I'd like to see some newer designs like this. And one of the reasons I like Milwaukee uh, lighting so much is because I love this design. I can carry this and I can also set this on end and still be able to shine light wherever I need it to as like a job site light. 
or as like a basically hiking light like I use it for the majority of the time. But anyways, this is just an awesome light. Really, you know, happy that I actually got one of these sent to me. Got to test this thing out and really see how well it does. Um, super impressed by this. Um, but let's check this out. Let's check out the um, testing outside here and I'll show you guys exactly how well this did versus the M18 Rover and the M18 Searchlight. All right guys, so we're outside. It's now dark. I've currently got the M18 Rover floodlight on. And of course this light is very bright. It's gonna be of course, you know, a bit of a yellow tint to it of course and of course it does a very you know wide angle it's not designed to really throw the light super far but it's really designed to give you a good workspace so let's turn this light off and i'm going to turn on the m18 searchlight now now this light actually has two modes it's got a floodlight only and then of course got the searchlight only mode and then we have the combined both mode there so you can see this thing really can shine one beam super super far it works really well at doing so. Now let's try out the Amazon light here. I'm going to go into mode one, which is going to be just a floodlight. Of course, there's a lot whiter of a light here. Um, so if you want, you know, a more white looking light, this is definitely a better option here. Or if you want to go for a warmer light, the Milwaukee is going to be your better option. Now check this out. I'm going to go into mode two here, where it also has kind of a searchlight to it a little bit. You can kind of see that if I move it around a little bit. Right there. You kind of see that right in the middle there. All right, so here is the light here. I definitely can tell the M18 Rover light has better throw when it comes to the overall width of the light. Definitely on the sides, it's definitely a lot brighter. But this light definitely is brighter just in the front. If you're just looking at the front of the light, I feel a lot brighter there. This is just mode one here. Go to mode two, it really, you know, increases the light output on only the front only there. So it's something to be aware of. The M18 Searchlight is fantastic for just, you know, carrying around you can definitely tell on camera that the searchlight is a lot brighter than the floodlight. If I go to floodlight only right here, it's definitely the least bright of the three. And finally, the rover light is clearly the most bright of the three when it comes to just the floodlight only. Definitely, you know, a really bright light stays really about the same brightness almost on the entire, you know, uh, area of the uh, light that's lighting up here. So again, like I said, guys, this thing did really, really well. Um, definitely very comparable and you know it's got a really decent LED array to it it's pretty well made this is plastic on the front here but of course this is all plastic on the front here too of the Milwaukee's so it's not like it's you know a significant downgrade or anything from the Milwaukee's um, but you know you can definitely feel the quality difference slightly but you get a lot more you could buy three of these for the cost of one of these and that can allow you to put out a lot more light I just have a little bit better build quality but this switch seems fine everything else seems fine I don't really have any like major complaints on it why I wouldn't buy one of these and these are honestly just awesome flashlights to have for lighting up some place with your batteries you already have for really really cheap so if you want to check it out guys leave a description I'll leave a link in the description and thanks for watching guys take care have a great day